This is a naked GoPro Hero 6, and it doesn't have a battery, so it gets its power through a plug soldered to the flight controller. It gets the full voltage from the battery with only a capacitor on the power lead. Most of the time, this is fine, but in rare cases, a voltage spike might kill your GoPro. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a power lead that'll prevent that. Here I've got a Maytek Micro 5V or 9V 1.5A BEC, which can take up to 30 volts of input. You also need a naked GoPro power lead, a 470 microfarad 25 volt capacitor, a 4S balance plug, and some wire. Start by bridging the 9 volt pad on the BEC. Next, add some solder to this pair of pads on top of the board for the power input. You'll need a 4S balance plug for your LiPo. Use some pliers to pull each of the pins out. We only need the outside pins, but you'll melt the plastic if you try to solder without removing them. Instead, jab them into some blue tack and solder a pair of wires to them. Solder the red wire to the voltage input pad and the black wire to the ground pad next to it. Flip the BEC over and trim the capacitor wires. Add a fair bit of solder to the same pads you used for the inputs, and you may even want to trim one of the wires a little shorter than the other to better orient the capacitor. Make sure you've got the polarity correct. The ground is the side with the big negative sign on it. Finally, add a little solder to the output pads and attach the naked GoPro power lead. Add some shrink tube to the input wires and make sure you've got the polarity right when you put them back into the connector. You can dry fit the connector to the balance lead on your battery to see which side is positive and which side is negative. Pull the shrink tube up and quickly zap it with a heat gun. Now let's test it with a multimeter. Plug a battery in and test the output voltage. It's hovering right around 9 volts, so we're all set. Cut some shrink tube and hit it with a heat gun to wrap it all up. Now let's test it out. You can plug it into the battery first or the camera, either way is fine. I usually plug it into the camera first, then strap it down on top of my battery before I fly. The last thing I do is plug in the balance lead and start recording. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. Please subscribe for more FPV related content and thanks for watching. Bye.